Hey Capricorn, this is your reading for Sun, Moon, Rising, um, month of February, 2019, and this is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising. Now you already had one fallout, actually. So, getting into this creative space and figuring out what it is you want to manifest. What do you really want to do with your life, Capricorn? Like, you guys are really good. You just, it was just your season. You guys have been, oh. So, figuring out what really makes your soul sing. This guy in this, um, what is it, Eight of Cups? Yeah, Eight of Cups. He is going on, like, this soul journey. He's going on this mission to find this last cup. He wants to, um fulfill his purpose and figure out why he's here so it's like maybe you've known for a while what you want to manifest but you haven't made that initial step to move forward because you haven't gone inside your subconscious yet or found your um this deeper part of yourself yet and it's really important to take the time to look inside you and figure out what exactly it is that you want to manifest. There's been a divine intervention. Something's came to you. Um, the spirits are talking to you. You're in your power right now. There's been an opportunity and it seems like you're either not moving or it's almost like it's passing you by and you're just watching it. It's like you're not moving or something and it's not likely of Capricorn to not move. It's like, but... Um, let's see... Mm. Ooh, the world. So you have to dance to the beat of your own drum right now. You have to say, you, okay, so you see how she's in the middle of the wreath and it's like patched up, like she put two sides of herself back together. There's all these animals on the outside of the wreath, but she's not looking at them. She doesn't give a fuck because she's having so much fucking fun. She just like... Okay, these could be fucking dudes, these could be soulmates, whatever. It's like, she don't give a fuck about that. She cares about her. Like, she's tired of doing what everyone else wants to do. She wants to just do her thing, ride her own wave, dance her own dance, be naked, not give a shit about nobody else. Just give a shit about herself. What do you really want, Capricorn? I mean, it's like, you probably take care of your whole family. You probably take care of all your friends around you. You're always the reliable one. You're always the one people call when they need something because they know Capricorn gets shit done. And it's like, when are you going to start getting shit done for yourself? Because it's going to bring you happiness. It's going to bring you abundance. It's going to bring you all this good shit. And you just have to be fully in your power right now. Ooh, and then we have the victory card. So six of wands, but it's reversed. So mm, maybe it's a smaller win than you thought it was going to be, or maybe things didn't manifest as you thought they would. What can you do better next month or better this week even to make yourself, ooh, ooh, okay. So you have the tower with the seven of swords. Now the tower with the seven of swords that to me is saying like okay something's crept in your moment was stolen by this little fucker right here or maybe it's in something that you might have not seen clearly and these little parasites crept into your mind because remember the swords are our ideas so whatever crept into your mind and destroyed your victory you need to break that shit down right now and get to the bottom of it. Jump out the window. Fucking get out of whatever house you're in. Like, not literally, but like, it's like whatever you're going with right now, whatever. Maybe it's a business venture. Maybe it's a new friend. Maybe it's a boyfriend. Maybe it's a girlfriend. Maybe you should check them to make sure they're not a sneaky bitch. Because it looks like, and it might not even be them. It might be you. It might be these, your own parasites you've put in your mind. It might not even be them. Are they toxic? You know what's right. People, 
You don't need to the cards to tell you if somebody's a piece of shit or not. So have you been wasting your time with pieces of shit? And when you really needed to just break this fucking tower down before. And I feel like even I have a lot of Capricorn in my chart, but um, I just had my tower moment and I'm like, well, what now? You know, and I feel like a lot of us are going through these same cycles with this energy because we're all connected with this. Ooh. Oh, Knight of Pentacles. So staying consistent, keeping on a steady pace, not letting up, um, plowing these fields, like making your own path. Like if there's not a path to plow, make a fucking path, make your own way. But it's slow and consistent and steady. It does a little bit each day. You know, the Knight of Pentacles is a very, very slow energy. It's the turtle, but it's like the turtle and like the, the hair. It's like the turtle wins the race in the end. You know what I'm saying? Like that's that energy in that card. Like staying consistent because longevity and the small steps you put forth every day will pay off in the end. But you have to let some of those burdens go and stop trying to carry everyone on your back. You have to stop carrying your family, your friends, your boyfriend, your girlfriend. You have to worry about you right now. And worrying about you consists of letting these people fend for themselves. Like, how long have you been caring for these people? How long have you been carrying their burdens? Let them have their own burdens back. Like, you're just postponing their karmic debt to carry it on your own back like let them have their shit back like okay i'm gonna move some of these cards a lot of these ones Ooh. okay so temperance page of swords and the king of wands reversed so hmm So maybe you were coming together with somebody whose temperance is about mixing two parts, mixing two different things, mixing of different, like the divine feminine into the divine masculine, like the gold into the silver, the um, salt water into the fresh water. These two different things are being mixed together. So with the page of swords energy, and this could be you, whether you're a little bit immature or maybe your partner or somebody who is around you, maybe a family member, somebody's been swinging their sword around in this energy, maybe being too harsh. Maybe you said some things that you probably shouldn't have said. Maybe you got um, in one of these moods where your ego got the best of you and it's put you on hold with this king of wands who is a you know that would be a fire sign <clears throat> or it could be yourself either or um because kings can manifest their way into the mix um depending on um, what kind of energy you're in so um Are you merging these Page of Swords and this King of Wands together? Maybe it's merging your ideas with your passions. It could be that for some people. It could be um, you and somebody else who's trying to help you manifest your dreams or manifest your passions or work on some ideas necessarily. And instead of being in a Wands energy, you just pick up the sword and start slicing their heads off with your words you start just going in on them and it causes a big dilemma or like fallout with this king of wands it might or an argument you know they don't necessarily have to be out of your life but something seems to have happened with them and you could even be this knight of pentacles because this is earth energy so this might be you but like i said the king of wands could be you or another person this is a um fire sign so leo leo ah leo aries 
Leo, Aries. Man, why do I never remember the elements of these? Leo, Aries, and who else is fire? Sag? Is Sag fire? I think this Sag is fire. Mm. Sag reminds me of Cupid. So maybe it is like a love thing where you just went in and you kind of reversed the arrows on Cupid over here. He was like, okay, well, you got some arrows? Psh, like, <laughs> off with your head. So, I don't know. And maybe that might be that deceit that is coming in from this six energy or seven energy of this idea. Is maybe it's like you got jealous you um, with this new lover or maybe you got... Um, or a new friend. It could be like, you know what I'm saying? People get in fights all the time about stupid shit. So maybe you just went in on these people and or they went in on you thinking some deceptive shit. And it might not even been that. Or it might have been that. To me, it looks like they just took... Somebody took your, took your moment of, like, victory. They took your victory. And... You got stuck with this tower moment that wasn't necessarily for you right yet. And it's fucked up your your workflow and in turn you're feeling like you have all these burdens and you're carrying too much on your back and you can't handle it. You're not mixing your two, you're not m mixing like your two things. It could be like your personal and your, um, your personal life and your work life, your spiritual and your material like your friends and your family it's anything you're not whatever this is whatever situation it's not flowing well back and forth it's not flowing between you and another person or whatever it's you got going on so oh okay so the soulmate card dope but it, it's gonna get better this is definitely this is a divine message this is somebody who's coming into your life um this is like a nostalgia card. So it's like maybe you don't remember them with your mind, but you, it, they, something tugs on your heartstring. It's like you, like deja vu. It is, um, the, the buds of new growth in a new relationship. So maybe that's why all this shit had to end so that this new thing could come in. And it's going to bring you emotional fulfillment and happiness and you're gonna feel love and you're gonna feel like this person wants to manifest their dreams and desires with you or they're gonna help you in some way or they're going to be a stepping stone to what you really want it's just making sure you are on top of what you want so you can go have that um eight of cups moment where you go get your cup these are not gonna come out Capricorn for February 2019, Sun and Moon Rising. Mm -hmm. Let me clarify some of Let me do the work your light one. Okay, can we clarify this six, six of cups? Mm. Okay, so this one fell out. This is the initiation, a rite of passage. Crossing the threshold. Let me read what this says in this book for you guys. The initiation. If I can freaking find it. Um, so. 
68, okay. So this says, some of the most sacred initiation chambers and temples look scary from the outside, but are breathtakingly beautiful on the inside. This represents the journey that the soul pilgrim um, is ready is required to take to reach somewhere sacred, but only the, initiate, uh, the initiated can enter. Perhaps that's where you are now. You're being tested, initiated because you are headed somewhere sacred. Uh, somewhere sacred. Initiations require that we cross the threshold from one world or state of being to the next. We are called to face what scares us and have to be willing to lose it all in order to gain a new way of being, of safety, security, of depth, and meaning. Initiations like rite of passages mark the shift from one age to the next and can take place because of emotional turmoil, great loss, grief, or devastation. But it is through the seeming hardship that our heart cracks open and our spirit is invested to step forward. We take the sacred words into more of who we are and what we came here to be. It can be painful and scary, but once we begin the journey, we can we can be more ourselves than ever before. If you are in the middle of an, in, an initiation right now, you will soon get through it. And one day soon, you will bless the thing that broke you down and cracked you open because the world needs you open. You are going somewhere sacred. It is worth it. And you are closer than you think. Write a passage, cross the threshold. So, let me pull one more for you because I'm like, <laughs> that's like this tower moment. That's this temperance. Like, that's mixing these two things. And you have the world here too. So, this is like a big, big moment in your life. And you have so many good cards on the table too. Let's see. What else can we sit to a Capricorn for? February. Oh. Okay, so Council of Light, Divine Orchestration, Helpers in the Subtle Realms. So just know you have a whole council of divine spirit guides and people around you who are willing to help you every step of the way. Um, if you get scared in this process, if you don't know quite what to do yet, if you are in a stuck in it if you're like feeling stuck or whatever I would get a piece of what is this pink quartz I don't remember but this one's for your heart for sure and it was just like staring at me but pink quartz I'm pretty sure rose quartz rose quartz I said kind of pink like, I'm so stupid <laughs> get you some of this shit because I literally have been carrying this around and putting it in my like coochie and everything I swear I'm like trying to manifest some great shit so Capricorn go get you some pink quartz, rose quartz, whatever I love you guys I will see you in March, get a reading with me um, on my website tylerdaysantis.com check out my art on my website I made it with period blood <laughs> but my website is has a video and everything so you can see why but I love you guys, bye